welcome to my channel, Jamie Created That. So, an exciting collab today with Michelle Galley from Grateful Creations, and we're going to be using my favorite thing ever. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm kind of obsessed with the split cup pours. So, if you weren't here to watch her video before mine, um, go ahead and check the link below, check out her channel. She does a lot of experimenting and pearl pours and several other things, and you'll you'll find her very fun to watch, so go check out her channel. So Michelle likes to do a lot of experimenting with her um, projects and her pours, and she found my channel while looking for a replacement for Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which if you have tried to buy it, you know it's out of stock, possibly discontinued. Um, you really can't get more of it. it. It actually didn't exist by the time I started pouring. It was already out of stock, so I had no choice but to make up my own. So I had made a video, um, number seven, and I'll link below, on how to read the paint pigment formulas, and this included the instructions on how to make the DIY Permanent Violet Dark by Golden, since I didn't really have access to the actual um, Golden's color. So Michelle found this video, and she asked me if it was okay, if she could use it, and me and my whole 100 subscribers was like, of course, anybody that watches my channel is very exciting news, so of course. And since then, she's um, used the formula a lot and done a lot of experimenting with the ratios needed to get it to be perfect, and I'll link that below as well. I first saw Fiona Art do some split cup pours, and I remember thinking that they were really pretty, but they seemed a little bit too complicated, and I said I probably wasn't going to try that because then I'd have to buy something. But like everything else, I said I wasn't going to do a bloom, and I ended up doing bloom, so I guess that's how I go. I end up saying I'm not going to do that, but then I end up eventually deciding that I like it, and so I started on the um, split cup pours. So here you can actually see um, on this, this well of my split cup, I'm doing the permanent violet dark that you see here, and I'm just alternating between that and the gold. And because this is a collaboration with Michelle Galley, and you know she, if you know her, she is obsessed with TLP, and so just for um, the, this challenge, I added a little bit of TLP ore to my gold just to make it um, super Michelle-like. Um, but here you can see the permanent violet dark a little bit more, and that's what you'll find the recipe for in the link below. It's a little more purple than it looks in this video. So Michelle watched my channel and she decided that she was really into split cups too and I was happy to not be alone in my love of split cups so we decided to do a collaboration and since we were brought together by the um, Permanent Violet Dark we thought that would be a color that we should use in this collaboration and then we also added in Payne's Gray, White, a metallic of choice and then um, the cobalt blue from Artist Loft, and then you had one color that you could pick that was any color of your choice. And I chose kind of a drip, table drip green that was mostly um, sea green by Arteza, but with a little bit of Deco Art emerald green as well, so it was just kind of middle green color. We were using 11 by 14 canvases, which um, if you've watched my other videos or you watch my other videos, you'll notice that I mostly do square canvases because that's just what I had the most of and that's what I started with using. So I have my pattern figured out for squares. So using a rectangle canvas, it took me a few tries to figure out the best pattern. So you'll see later that I do a lot of slow tilting while I'm trying to decide how not to ruin the pattern um, that on the, on the rectangle canvas. So I think it turned out okay. I think definitely I need a little bit more practice with the rectangle, but I'm pretty happy with it overall. So here I am pouring the cup. This takes a really long time actually. But um, what I do is typically just stay in the middle and kind of go around in one direction slowly and I kind of get this feather type of pattern. Um, I need to work on some other patterns, but I kind of like my big feather in the middle, so that's what I'm going to go with here as well. So I like to put the darker layers with the white on the outside and then the inner chambers are usually my colors, and that just seems to be a, a good pattern for me. I just put the darker color on the outside, and the consistency of the paint is about um, two to three seconds. It takes, if you pour it on the top, for it the, the drop to sink in. Um, 
if I go over three, then it starts to blob out of the cup a little. And I do think that my table drip color was maybe just a little bit thick because I did have a few drips here and there, but overall it poured out pretty nicely. But if you get a lot of starting and stopping drips, then your paint might be a little bit too thick, which it, it gives you a nice pattern sometimes, but I kind of like the fine lines that I get with the, um, the thinner paint. I did have a lot of bubbles in this one um, because I had tried this twice before and um, they weren't as successful so I had to mix up another set of paint and it did sit overnight but since I used my little mixing blender um, that I showed in one of the other videos it does stir it up really fast so it, it should sit for a whole day probably before I used it but I didn't have time to wait for that so I just used it anyway but I actually think at the end the, the bubbles give it sort of a constellation look so I'm not really that mad about the bubbles on this one. So I hope you enjoy this one and I'll put on some music until the end and I hope you like it. see at the corner um, I really like the pattern that I have and I'm going to lose a lot of it if I pour the corner over. So this is my uh, Jamie patented technique for doing the corner. I kind of wipe away the flow extender and in this case I put down some Payne's Gray and I take some drips or other things with the skewer and I kind of incorporated it into the pattern so that I don't have to lose as much. I could be putting this on the spinner and just spin it out and that helps with the corners too. Um, this is my kitchen countertop. It's only two feet wide so um, on the spinner it kind of flings paint all over the kitchen floor and the carpet so um, I don't, unless I have the puppy pool put up, I don't usually use the spinner and um, I tend to have more control over tilting for some odd reason than I do with the spinner. I'm just not as good with the spinner. But definitely you could try the spinner if you have the room and the space to splash um, paint.
Thank you. 